Hey guys, this is Raymond. What are you doing? What are you doing, Raymond? What are you doing, Raymond? I didn't tell you that. Anyway, ooh, you got a bit of heat. So, welcome back to Rayman 3. I'm being out, if you haven't noticed. Um, in the last part, we went through the uh, land of the liver dead. We had some nice, cool stuff going on. And now we're in the land of the Kanaran, the desert of the Kanaran, more than the land. Uh, and this is an interesting level. It's also probably the longest one. This may be a three-part level. Um, but anyway, we can't touch the sand. The sand's hot. Globox said it was hot there in the last part. That's the problem with me not being able to cut off immediately. By the way, I love the lava texture in this because it's weird. You think lava is like heavy, goopy, syrupy. Syrupy is not a great word because it's rock, but... You know what I mean? It's it's very coarse. Hey Globox, will you grab me one final request? Find me some plum juice, please. No, Globox. I feel like that's basically the excuse for Globox to not be part of this. But I know this isn't lava. This is a uh, poison water, acid maybe. But these are the same kind of look on lava later, and it's weird because it's very like. It'd be very viscous. Also, don't take a huge dip in the in the in the goop. You don't want to be in like swimming height, I think. Also, why is it even moving like this? It's a little weird. So you go around and you're like, okay, now I'm gonna fly. But that's it. That's all you get. Until you hit this little stalagmite, and then bam, you're flying again. And that's it. And then you're flying again. And I done goofed that one, but that's okay, because you can always get another one. And then you can get this one. I actually think this you could uh, get some nice goodies up here. Punch that guy off. There we go. Nice goodies. Sweet. And then you can easily jump back over here, grab this, and then away you go, back here. Send that camera. Z target that. Just to be a little controversial, we're gonna go under. Actually, we'll get the blue. Alright, <laughs> I was gonna grab the, the grabby claw and then go back down, but I guess not. Some things were just not meant to be. So anyway, if you uh, notice on the pause screen at the end of the last part, there's 12 teensies in this level. That's like four th threes. And there's one right there. We did it, we beat him. Uh, but we can't open this door. We need the red power. We need the, the punchy fists. The fists of punching excellence. Did I just screw this one off for me? Nah. I can always go back down. You get that. Help! I've been quiet for a while. What other... Do we have any awesome things in the news? I'm recording four parts, uh, and this will be the last one. This will be the last part. Uh, not forever, and I'm definitely recording some more tomorrow. Just so I get a bit more material. Because you never want to be a little bit light on material. You always want stuff to talk about. Bam, what bam ba bam ba bam Because what part are we up to? What part? Part 8? I wouldn't say we're quite halfway through the game, but I would think at this rate, we could probably beat the game in 20, probably less parts. Probably like 18. So we're not quite half. Whoa, that. Solid dive right there. And then he falls down, so all that was just for that. Oh, I could fly down there. I'm gonna fly for you! Hey, hey, big nose! If you want to cross the desert, 
You need to use the tunnels. But it won't be easy. The tunnels are swarming with canarins, and those beasts are invincible. Yeah, well, you got a better idea? You bet your bet -em dollar I do. Okay, listen closely, Big Nose. Do not let the canarin get near you. You understand? Never. If they get their claws on you, you're dead. Well, it was a nice knowing ya. Well, that's, <laughs> that's uh, good advice, I guess. So pretty much, the Canaran are only in this level, and they're basically spooky spooky men that you cannot... Oh. Oh. You cannot let them touch you. Well, you can. For example, that's a Canaran. Anyway, yeah. So, I think one real awesome thing about this game is the, is the variety in level design, because this level, and you're like, wow, that's really different. Also, yes, these guys are invincible, which means you have to run away. Which is why I decided to stand still. Roar, roar, roar. So this is gonna be interesting. This, uh... <laughs> this, this is probably why the level's long. Mainly because you have to s sneak through it. Which I'm doing a great job, thank you very much. Oh, dang! I beat him at his own game! I believe I can get that TNT, but... I also think this is just a yellow. No, it's an orange power, which is great, because then I can use it to shoot this dude up here. And I believe there was another one I could hit. Was he in... Oh, almost found him. He's in here. Oh, you can use that to distract them. They actually go around there, and they're like, hmm. That gives you enough time to... Have him right there when you exit. Nice. Well, <laughs> at least you can outrun them. Oh, well, can't really best best that, I guess. Whoa! Little grasshopper, hit the gong. It will attract the canarins. <laughs> that that's a little weird. The fact that you can suck so bad, or at least get hit, and he flat out just tells you hit the gongs, you dummy. I'm I'm a dummy apparently. I need I need guidance on this one. But that's okay because I didn't. S it's a two-part process. You go. You hit the gong. Which gets the guy to go down. Only that guy, not the guy on the ground. Then you grab... Am I on the right side of history? Too soon? Too soon. <laughs> um, grab the blue power. The blue goo. And you use that to swing across. Go... I... It's good enough. It's good enough. Who cares? I did it. I even took the hit. Now this is a bit of interesting. We take the uh, the plum mechanic and we replace it with eggs that you then use to these creeps. You only kind of hit them. You don't really have to do a long hit. Come on, pick her up. A bit spooky. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> the music as well. This reminds me of a. I guess I can't. Fine. Sure. You win. Okay, I guess I can. What am I doing wrong? 
I can stand on the switch, which opens that up, but of course, that's what the egg is for. You get the... Like, it seemed pretty obvious. It's like you pick up the egg and then you put it on the switch, but you got these ghosts coming out. Call the... Call the... The female Ghostbusters. Because... I don't know. Man. Controversy. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. I catch you. Where are they coming from? West Kazakhstan? I don't even know. I'm just, I'm just shouting at the top of my lungs now. I'm doing something incredibly wrong, aren't I? Like, there's got to be a way to get past this dude here. Oh, bat, bat! Yeah, you can't jump. Nah. What is this? What? What am I doing? Maybe I hit these... Nah, because I just hit these guys. And then I bring this egg. And by that point, they're already here. And they're going to get me. What am I doing? I can't chuck... I can't chuck the egg. Like, oh... I can't believe I was so callous that I forgot you can put it down and you can take these things out excuse me take them out there you go pick up the egg walk a few more paces and BAM I'm intelligent it only took me a couple of minutes to realize that you can put the egg down then long arduous process you get the rocket fire it down there's a gong one thing I will I will say is that I like how they made the rocket have a bit more purpose than you'd expect. So while he's preoccupied by looking at a gong, BAM! I can jump. <laughs> the game just flat out won't let you go there, okay. Sure. We got more egg. More egg. We got the long process of egg. Oh, oh, get him, get him. <laughs> They're a little spooky. I don't think anyone really likes this level because of the spooky. It's too spooky for me. I got a bit of time before I have to deal with them. Okay, that's enough time. That's enough time. <laughs> Still get hit. I'm only afraid. Kidding me. Oh, is that not on the bun? Alright. Well, snap, is that for him? Oh well. Stuff you, I can outrun you. <laughs> so we're 13 and a half minutes in, and only now did we finish the first scene. We'll keep going. I don't think this one is as long. Rayman, Rayman, over here. Hey, I remember this from the trailer. So anyway, so you got these guys on the ground, but fortunately they're not in thin passageway, so you can at least walk around them. It's got that uh, early 2000s sound, you know, the whole... Like, uh... Uh... Pan instruments. Like, uh... Traditional, very windy, kind of oriental a little bit, but I'm probably uh, Western but native tribes that have had sounds like this. It's a very interesting sound. So you may be wondering, where do we go? We go for the button, of course, that we can't push unless one of these guys stands on it. There you go. Then we get juggled. I'm literally stuck. Are you kidding? <laughs> you see that crap? It was just locking me into its lock. It just moves you into the lock. I'm gonna game over on this one. Apparently. Spit in his eye. Spit in his eye. 
And I can do the voice too, it ain't too scary. I can do it. There we go. So now we're gonna stand on the tooth platforms, and I swear Croc did this one as well. Left or right? I'm gonna say left. Left is best. But the right way is the right way. Hey! <laughs> Give me that more health. Hey! Probably drop off something up here. Ooh, snap, I needed that. Alright. Let's see if we can do it. The long dash. The long haul. Was it worth it? Can he do it? Grand slam. Down south. Wabam. It was worth it, because then you get all these gems. Hey, give me that bigger bonus. That was literally just doubling my, my points right now. Nice. It was worth it. It was very, very worth it. Now, I can't remember how long this level actually is, but I definitely know there's a lot of parts to it. I can just fall off and waste everyone's time by getting stun locked by this dude. They actually hit you hard. Jeez, I just I just realized how hard they they hit you. Like, you see a bit of damage. And that's how hard they hit you for. Like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh, just fall off again. Well, yeah. Clearly I'm paying attention. That's why I said four parts, because I I'm absolutely dreadful when it comes to longer sittings. Sometimes it depends on the game. There we go. Here we go. I'm not your thing. I'm all my own. My own. My own. Everyone is for my own. I think this is one of the reasons why not not this game in particular, but 3D platformers went out is because depth. You start losing it when they make the scale bigger like that. When it was contained on a 2D screen, normally everything was quite a similar size, but with 3D games, there's a big variety and... Oh, okay then. <laughs> nah, but there's a big variety in scale. Here we go, up we go. And down we go. That was it. We'll do one more. We'll do one more, because that one was a lot shorter. And I'm thinking, one more would be good. What could possibly go wrong? Oh. Wait. I don't remember this. But it didn't get me a lot. Oh, wait, there's more over here. Oh. Alright then. I've completely forgotten about this part. Maybe there's a bonus for not waking them up. <laughs> this is the bonus, just all these gems on the upper road here. And then you just drop down. Hey, 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 guys. I mean, don't you feel guilty about danging up on a guy when he's all alone? <laughs> they got a point. Ah, oh, this part. This part. Ah, oh, dude, this part. Yeah, this is the part where uh, you walk around <laughs> and run away from these dudes. So, yeah. So, this is a very complex area. <laughs> Let's just say that. There's a lot of there's a lot of ledges and a lot of places that you can go, but inevitably you're going to get the power from somewhere and figure out how to move on from there. I best not fall because I'm possibly gonna say that's a game over right there. So I can't go that way. We got a little statue box here. Statue box. <laughs> yeah. 
Ja. <laughs> oh my goodness, I just climbed down something for the first time in my life. What is down here? Nothing. Nothing. I've been cheated. Ah, ghosts! I should have known. I'm gonna use this. And I'm just gonna. Oh, they thought of it! They th They knew! They knew I would try that. So this guy is not having a good day. But he doesn't feel bad about picking on. Picking on the little guy! The little guy! The mama pop, the mama pop pop show. The, the, the ro Rosio's. So anyway, I believe this, this is what you must do. Shoot the obvious gong. Let the dude go around. And then, make a mad dash. Holy crap. This is God in the blue power. Why do all these... Why do these guys have all these abilities kind of scattered everywhere? They're hoodlum technology, and there's no hoodlums in this area. This one's a lot. Guy, guys, this game's hyper unrealistic. Little grasshopper, one must never let the canarins get near you. Capish? Never. I I got this. I got it. I got it. I'm stuck. Are you kidding me? This one. I've got no hope. I've got no hope. Game over, man. Oh, oh, snap, I got out of it. How did I do that? How did I do that? I don't even know. Also, this one. Good luck on me finding all these teensies. Are you gonna... F are you gonna know where they are? I am. Okay, get a bit of health. You can never have too much health. Except when it's too much. Okay, there's nothing over here. Sweet. Sweet, great, thanks. Me too, thanks. Alright, climb that. Climb that stuff. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Hmm. <laughs> Help! Oh. That's okay, I can go down here and get the teensy instead. How many teensies is this for this level? This one's my fourth one, isn't it? Fifth one, sweet. Bit more. It's always good. Ah, money! I keep hearing teensies as if they are everywhere. Maybe you can hear teensies one day. My dad is stronger than your dad. Well, I think I just missed the teensy. Nice. My edge. <laughs> it's a dead end. How are we gonna get? Actually, it is a dead. End. <laughs> I feel like this exists, and I keep going down into these pits. I'm a sucker. It's also completely pitch black for me. Like, I could not see a thing this then. Maybe it's around the other side. Nope. They just come out of this one wall. So how are we gonna go around? How are we gonna go around the wall? Can't just jump around, can we? Oh, snap, we can. <laughs> quick. Go for a quick shot. Pro shot. Bam. I'm the best. Those are like our different teensies for different levels. Give me that money. Okay, sweet. See ya. Long, uh, long tower. Ooh. Ha <laughs> ha! Catch you on the flip side. <laughs> oh 
I like how this is actually how you get around them. You just back, back. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh, come on. Hey, buddies. There you go. Sweet. Round and round and round we go. Where I'll stop, I don't even know. Excuse me, chumps. Make way for your future leader. Me, apparently. Oh, guys at the top are... Uh, have alerted. The stealth segment! This is the obligatory stealth segment of the game. Get it? Eh. Still gotta get the, um... Thing by. Maybe that was the one I was hearing? So I wasn't going insane, but it definitely kind of looked like it was a part I didn't go to. There we go. Some nice money. Cash dollars. Ooh, cheeky, mate. Cheeky! Cheeky! You know where you are? Cheeky! Can't get that one. Oh, snap, I did! What? Did I have more money? I do. I like how time kind of froze, like... A whole place in the stuff. Ah, oh, I didn't quite get all of it in the double. It was worth it though. So that's our 8th TNT in this level, isn't it? And we did it! We're the best! That was our 8th TNT in the level, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> anyway. That is definitely enough. 44%, yep. I probably missed a green gem somewhere. That's probably it. Oh well. Anyway, level keeps going. <laughs> but, or I'll, I'll leave it on this. In the next part, we'll continue on in the desert of the Canaran. What will happen to Raymond and his buddies? Particularly Globox. Doesn't really have a lot of buddies. Murphy's gone for the game, so. Anyway, we'll see you kids next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Oh, I even got the zoom.